Begum Rokia Sakawat Hossein Bengali Begama Rokia Sakawyata Hasina the 9th of December 1880 to the 9th of December 1932 commonly known as Begum Rokia was a Bengali feminist thinker writer educationist social activist advocate of women's rights and widely regarded as the pioneer of women's education in the Indian subcontinent during the time of the British rule She wrote novels poems short stories science fiction satires treatises and essays in her writings, she advocated that both men and women should be treated equally as rational beings, and the lack of education is the main reason of women's lagging behind. Her major works include Matacure, A String of Sweet Pearls, 1904 and 1922, collection of essays in two volumes expressing her feminist thoughts, Sultana's Dream, 1905, a feminist science fiction novella set in Ladyland ruled by women, Padmarag, Essence of the Lotus, 1924, depicting the dreadful picture of married lives of Bengali girls in general, and Abarad Basini, The Zanana Women, 1931, a spirited attack on the extreme forms of purdah that endangered women's lives and thoughts, Rokia suggested that education of women is the foremost requisite of women's liberation, hence she established the first school aimed primarily at Bengali Muslim girls in Kolkata. Rokia is said to have gone from house to house persuading the parents to send their girls to her school in Nisa. Until her death, she ran the school despite facing hostile criticism and various social obstacles. In 1916, she founded the Muslim Women's Association, an organization that fought for women's education and employment. In 1926, Rokia presided over the Bengal Women's Education Conference convened in Kolkata, the first significant attempt to bring women together in support of women's education rights. She was engaged in debates and conferences regarding the advancement of women until her death on 9 December 1932. Shortly after presiding over a session during the Indian Women's Conference, Bangladesh observes Rokia Day on 9 December every year to commemorate her works and legacy. On that day, Bangladesh government also confers Begum Rokia Paddock on individual women for their exceptional achievement. In 2004, Rokia was ranked number six in BBC's poll of the greatest Bengali of all time. Topic: <laughs> Life. Rokia Cotton was born in 1880 in the village of Parabond, Mithapukur, Rangpur present Bangladesh, in what was then the British Indian Empire. Her father, Jaharuddin Muhammad Abu Ali Haydar Saber, was a highly educated and successful zamindar landlord who married four times. His marriage to Rahatanesa resulted in the birth of Rokia, who had two sisters and three brothers, one of whom died in childhood. Rokia's eldest brother Ibrahim Saber, and her immediate elder sister Karamanisa Khanam Chaturani, both had great influence on her life. Karamanisa wanted to study Bengali, the language of the majority in Bengal. The family disliked this because many upper-class Muslims of the time preferred to use Arabic and Persian as the media of education, instead of their native language, Bengali. Ibrahim taught English and Bengali to Rokia and Karamanisa, both sisters became authors. Karamanisa married at the age of 14, later earning a reputation as a poet. Both of her sons, Nawab Abdul Karim Ghaznawi and Nawab Abdul Halim Ghaznawi, became famous in the political arena and occupied ministerial portfolios under British authorities. Rokia married at the age of 18 in 1898. Her Urdu-speaking husband, Khan Bahadur Sakawat Hussain, was the deputy magistrate of Bagalpur, which is now a district under the Indian state of Bihar. He married earlier also. Sakawat was then 38 years old before his marriage with Rokia. Sakawat did his B.A.G. from England and was a member of Royal Agricultural Society of England. He married Rokia after the death of his first wife. As he was gentle, liberal-minded and had much interest in female education he encouraged Rokia to continue her brother's work by encouraging her to keep learning Bengali and English. He also encouraged her to write, and on his advice she adopted Bengali as the principal language for her literary works because it was the language of the masses. She launched her literary career in 1902 with a Bengali essay entitled Pipasa Thirst. She also published the books Matacure 1905 and Sultana's Dream 1908 during her husband's lifetime. Her book Sultana's Dream was quite influential. She wrote this book reversing the roles of men and women in which women were the dominant sex and the men were subordinate. It is regarded as quite a fantastic satire and was able to garner a decent amount of influence upon its publication. In 1909, Sakawat Hussain died. 
He had encouraged his wife to set aside money to start a school primarily for Muslim women. Five months after his death, Rokia established a high school in her beloved husband's memory, naming it Sakawat Memorial Girls High School. It started in Bagalpur, a traditionally Urdu-speaking area, with only five students. A dispute with her husband's family over property forced her to move the school in 1911 to Calcutta, a Bengali-speaking area. It remains one of the city's most popular schools for girls and is now run by the state government of West Bengal. Rokia also founded the Anjuman e Kawatin e Islam Islamic Women's Association, which was active in holding debates and conferences regarding the status of women and education. She advocated reform, particularly for women, and believed that parochialism and excessive conservatism were principally responsible for the relatively slow development of Muslims in British India. As such, she is one of the first Islamic feminists. She was inspired by the traditional Islamic learning as enunciated in the Quran, and believed that modern Islam had been distorted or corrupted. Anjuman e Kawatin e Islam organized many events for social reforms based on the original teachings of Islam that, according to her, were lost. Rokia remained busy with the school, the association, and her writings for the rest of her life. She died of heart problems on 9 December 1932, which was her 52nd birthday. In Bangladesh, the 9th of December is celebrated as Rokia Day. Rokia's grave in Sotapur was rediscovered due to the efforts of the historian Amalenduda. Topic: Works. Pipasa, Thirst, 1902. Matacure Essays, first volume 1904, second volume 1922. The second volume of Madakyur includes stories and fairy tales such as Sorahagat the Solar System, Delicha Hatya translation of the murder of Delicha, by Mary Corelli, Jnan Fal the fruit of knowledge, Nari Srishti creation of women, Nurse Nelly, Mukti Fal the fruit of emancipation, etc. Sultana's Dream Padmarag, Essence of the Lotus, novel, 1924. A feminist utopia. Abaradbasini. The Secluded Women, 1931. Bolagarto, short story. Narir Adhikar, The Rights of Women, an unfinished essay for the Islamic Women's Association. God Gives, Man Robs, 1927, republished in God Gives, Man Robs and Other Writings. Dhaka, Narigrantha Prabertana, 2002. Education Ideals for the Modern Indian Girl, 1931, republished in Rokia Rachanabali, Abdul Qadir editor, Dhaka, Bangla Academy, 2006 Begum Rokia wrote in a number of genres, short stories, poems, essays, novels and satirical writings, developing a distinctive literary style, characterized by creativity, logic and a wry sense of humor. She started writing in the Nabinor from about 1903, under the name of Mrs. R. S. Hossein. However, there is an opinion that her first published writing Pipasa appeared in the Nabaprabha in 1902. She wrote regularly for the Sagat, Mahamadi, Nabaprabha, Mahila, Bharatmahila, Al Eslam, Naras, Mahe Nau, Bangia Musulman Sahitya Patrika, The Masalman, Indian Ladies Magazine, etc. Her writings called upon women to protest against injustices and break the social barriers that discriminated against them. Topic. Legacy Begum Rokia is considered as the pioneer feminist of Bengal. Universities, public buildings and national award has been named after her in Bangladesh. The country also observe her birth and death anniversary. She was an inspiration for many later generation female authors including Sufia Kamal, and others. Topic. Eponyms Begum Rokia Day, a commemoration of the birth and death anniversary of Begum Rokia, observed annual on 9 December in Bangladesh. Begum Rokia Paddock, a Bangladeshi national honour conferred on individual women for their exceptional achievement. Begum Rokia Memorial Centre, an academic and cultural hub in Parabond, Bangladesh. Begum Rokia University, a government-financed public state university in Bangladesh. Rokia Hall, the largest female residential hall of Dhaka University. <laughs>